Hello everyone, I am Mickey and I am not your mama's minister. And today we're going to be talking about St. Blaise. Now, it is his feast day today, but don't you worry. He also has another feast day on February 11th. And like I always say, don't even worry about it. If you don't watch this or don't remember that today is uh, one of his feast days or February 11th, you can still petition the spirits and the the divine and the saints and everybody else on days that are not their feast days. So I did not know that much about St. Blaise prior to a client uh, getting throat cancer. And so when the client got throat cancer and they came to me and we decided, okay, we're going to go with the Catholic um, kind of uh, mystical work because you were raised Catholic, so let's go ahead and do that. And so I did a bunch of research, found St. Blaise, and one of the things that I really liked about him is that he was also a miracle worker, like prior to him even getting busted for uh, preaching and for Christianity and so forth, he um, was already performing miracles when he absolutely had to. He didn't, he didn't really... Um, want to spend a lot of time with strangers but when they needed healing he went ahead and stepped up to the plate and another thing is that when he finally was arrested uh he was being dragged off and this woman comes and throws herself at his feet and begs him now she sees he's being dragged off to be put in prison and probably executed but she still comes and throws herself at his feet to uh, ask will you please heal my child because my child is choking on something so apparently prior to somebody realizing how to do the heimlich maneuver i'm assuming that people just died of choking all the time i don't know anyway so what i wanted to talk about today with saint blaze about his healing of the throat is not so much the physical ailments but the psychological and spiritual ailments of the throat. So your voice. Um, it's very difficult for many, many people in the world to use their voice, whether it's cultural, whether it's familial, whether it is just they don't like talking. Um, they don't like communicating their needs, their desires, and so forth and so on. And in many cases, because they've never learned how to use their voice, they also don't actually know what they want, what they want to say, what they want to do, what they want to eat or drink or believe in or fall in love with and so forth. And so when we're talking about using St. Blaise in healing and miracles, you don't just have to petition him for uh, issues with the physical throat. Now, if you are Catholic or if you've been to Catholic Mass on Candlemas, which was yesterday, or on uh, today, so February 3rd, then your priest, depending on where you are, may go ahead and do a blessing of St. Blaise, which is holding the crossed candles in front of your throat or touching you with them or um, doing the blessing on your throat. Uh, so if you aren't Catholic and don't feel like going to that extent, then you are more than welcome to do the St. Blaise uh, blessing on your own throat or the throats of those that you love. But just remember that another thing that we have to encourage is we have to encourage other people to have a voice and to use their voice. I mean, they already have their voices, but to use their voices. And I know that I myself am super duper guilty of this because I just love talking and I love um, constantly talking about different things and I love talking about myself and I hate keeping secrets about myself and so I love talking about all my secrets and it becomes a TMI, TMI festival. And so, but when we are around our loved ones that maybe don't know their voice that much or don't know how to use their voice that much, make sure that you're encouraging them to. Where do you want to go? Don't do the trickery. You know, that's something that we do with our children to make get them to make a decision. Do you want to go to, you know, so-and-so's or do you want to go to so-and-so's? Well, if you're talking about dealing with adults or even 
older children that can make up their mind. That's right. Don't forget that your children, when they hit a certain age, are perfectly capable of making a decision. And we want to encourage that. And then if it's a bad decision, then encourage them to think about those decisions first and so forth. Um, but with another adult, we want to have the assumption that they already know um, what they want, where they want to be, and so forth. And so don't just do the, okay, well, these are the options I'm giving you, and that's it. Um, but yes, so you can, you are absolutely more than welcome to use St. Blaise and petition St. Blaise for intercession um, when it has to do with the throat chakra or the voice or using your voice. So it does not have to be the physical throat. Um, and then, of course, because he is one of the 14 holy helpers, you can go ahead and use the 14 holy helpers as a whole on each of their feast days but you can also just use uh use each of them on their feast days rather than going with all 14 of them and i think that might be it about saint blaze and using our voices um making sure to use our voices for something positive rather than um a lot of negative energy being put out there with our voices remember that's your power so um, if you're putting out a bunch of negativity then that can be super duper painful not only for the people around you but for yourself as well so use your voice appropriately and strongly and for what's right and righteous and beautiful and human and I think that's it much love, many blessings. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment.